And as the number of coronavirus cases continues to rise globally, there are some growing concerns over whether the 2020 Olympic Games should go ahead or not. There was a recent poll that was done by Angus Reid Institute. Here's what it shows. Two in five Canadians say the Tokyo Olympics should go forward as planned. They want to watch our athletes, while half, around 52%, want the games to be delayed until the coronavirus outbreak has passed. Our chase team has reached one of Canada's most decorated Olympians. You know her name. She is Marnie McBean. You, you got goosebumps watching her as a rower. She is also chef de mission for Team Canada. and We've got her right here in studio. Marnie, welcome. You heard the WHO. Yep. You were here for breaking news right here in studio. They declared it a pan pandemic, this coronavirus. What was going through your head as you heard that from the WHO? Suanna, I was actually kind of surprised they hadn't already called it a pandemic. Um, I have to admit, I didn't know until Natasha told us what a pandemic was. So thanks for that, Natasha. <laughs> um, and, and I just knew this was something that was affecting, um, in my world, it was affecting sport globally. So I guess I already assumed that it was a pandemic. Now, they do say that, uh, you know, the director said all countries can change the course of this pandemic. But when you put the word pandemic together with athletes who are fit, who, who want to perform their best for their countries at the Olympics, do the two mesh? Well, Sue Hannah, the Olympics aren't tomorrow, um, you know, and even as you're saying in the, the explanations of what pandemics are, H1N1 happened in 2009. The mm -hmm. Vancouver Olympics were early in 2010, and we don't remember the Vancouver Olympics as being at all affected by that pandemic. Uh, so right now, we are talking regularly with the athletes of the Canadian Olympic team who are going to be competing in Tokyo, and our communications with them is uh, the Olympics will go. You know, we are preparing for the Olympics to go on time mm -hmm. in, in uh, July, July 24th. Um, what we need to do right now is uh, control what we can control. Um, stay where you can and be healthy and safe. Uh, wash your hands. Do everything that nor like all our average Canadians are being asked to do. Um, but stay on target because the, the, the middle of the summer, the end of the summer is a long way away. And I think... Reactions are going to expand, and then I think um, the same way they're seeing in China, I think the, the, the reactions are going to contract. Every athlete I've ever spoken with has always said that focus is really important, not having distractions. I'm wondering, as an athlete prepares for qualifiers, prepares to b bring on their best game for those Olympics in Tokyo, how do they focus and take this out of their head, the word pandemic and coronavirus? Well, the, the veterans, uh, you know, Tokyo is going to be my 10th Olympic Games. Yeah, so you are I'm, a veteran. I'm bringing it on, right? <laughs> so one of the things I'm communicating with the athletes is in, in a very respectful and this is real way. Mm -hmm. um, oh, oh, here it is. Here is that thing that they're telling us is going to cancel the Olympics. Uh, if we go back to um, September 11th. Um, you know, everyone was saying, well, because of terrorism, there's no way that the Salt Lake 2002 Olympics can go on. Like, how could that be? There's always, whether it's going to be the Zika virus, mm -hmm. H1N1, whether uh, a host city, the traffic is going to be unbelievable. The, the host city is not ready. The venues aren't ready. Like, the village is You've heard it ready. all. We've heard it. Like, bring it. This is the thing that is being given and is the uh, journalists of the world are, are giving it some gas um, and talking about the Olympics. Without question, there's, there's human lives and safety. That is the bigger thing that we should be talking about right now. How do we contain this and control it? Um, I know for myself, I've cur cur curtailed some of my travel because whether or not I'm worried about myself getting sick, I'm mm -hmm. also worried about how I trans transmit that. I don't yes. want to take that into high-performance environments that I'm working with. So if I don't have to go somewhere, I'm not. I'm making sure, like everyone else, I'm washing my hands. Um, but I'm communicating with the athletes, stay on target. Focus on your training. Mm -hmm. uh, there isn't uh, a gold medal that was won without some element of chaos. And every athlete, I think, I remember talking with Alex Depetit about this. His advice to Olympic athletes mm -hmm. when we were trying to pass on the wisdom of the veterans was uh, have plan A. Know what your plan A is to get to the podium. Right. But then have plan B, right. C, D. Um, in this environment, we might be working on plan F, plan L, yes. M, N, O, right? There, there's probably quite a few... Uh, 
options? I, I get it with plan A, but when you leave here, knowing that this breaking news has come about, and, and use of that word does change the way people look at something. I mean, Spanish flu was a pandemic. Uh, HIV AIDS was a pandemic. There, there are things that people think of, oh my goodness, this is a killer thing that's happening around the world, and there is time for calm. But when you leave here, who do you contact? Is it the IOC? Is it uh, other you know, Olympic Committee members? What do you do with this new information? Well, as, as part of the Canadian Olympic team, uh, issues management team, we, we have a group that's getting together regularly and discussing um, how this is affecting our team mm -hmm. um, and what our options, uh, in a sense, in worst case scenarios would be. Um, the Canadian Olympic team is also being advised by the International Olympic Committee, the Tokyo 2020 uh, yes. host organization, the World Health Organization. We're all talking about what's going to be happening in Tokyo in, in July, late July. Um, and, you know, people have other things to focus on right now. Um, we're communicating to the athletes uh, who's, who's bigger in focus right yeah. now is qualifying. So um, sometimes the most stressful But some of those qualifiers are being canceled, right? Absolutely, and as they should be, right? We're trying yeah. to, as, as they're asking us, we need to, all countries need to be part of the solution here. Mm -hmm. And the, all the international sports federations are trying to be part of the solution, right? They're trying not to have all the athletes um, coming in, trying to minimize whether or not they're going to have spectators in the ground. We had, like, um, we had our, our Canadian women's soccer team played, I believe, in Brazil uh, in front of no, no like, yes. you know, it was like a closed door friendly um, and the sport still happened. Um, and that's how we're going to go forward. We're going to figure out what's our best case scenario for our ultimate preparation right now. And we're going to do what we can and what's available to us today, tomorrow. And however this fa fast paced story changes, we're sport and we're athletes and we're going to change as quickly. We're going to anticipate these changes. I love your optimism. Great to have you on the program Thanks. and I certainly wish you the best. And we'll be watching for Tokyo Absolutely. 2020. Marnie McBean, Chef de Mission for Team Canada. You certainly know all the gold medals that she has won. And uh, she told me in a commercial break where she keeps many, them many. in a stuffed drawer. Yep. <laughs> Great to have you. Thank you.